the Phoenix Suns are a dynasty. They're a dynasty in the making, shall I say. When you look at what makes up a dynasty, a young superstar, you need one. You got that in Devin Booker, who's only 24 years of age and haven't even scratched the surface of his prime yet. You need a co-superstar, a rising star. They have one in DeAndre Ayton, the number one pick in the 2018 draft, who's only going to get better. He's a walking 20 and 10 guy. Can you imagine? If the Suns had drafted Luka Doncic instead of Aiton, Doncic and Booker, Ooh. put some other 3 and D guys around them, oh man, now that would be a dynasty. But they didn't even want to sign DeAndre Aiton. The only reason they matched the Pacers' offer was so that they didn't lose the number one pick for nothing. And to make matters worse, the Phoenix Suns coach at the time was Luka's former national team coach. And they didn't listen to him. Mm. I've been in basketball for more than 25 years, 17 years in NBA, and uh, probably one of the most talented players I ever worked with. You look at the others, Mikael Bridges, 24 years of age. We know what he do on the defensive end, but now he's coming along offensively. By the way, he still haven't scratched his prime yet. And then you look at a guy like Cam Johnson, 6'7", 6'8", wing guy, lights out shooter, but coming along on the defensive end. He's only 24 years of age. What else do you need? Unfortunately, uh, Cam Johnson had a knee injury in college, and now he's out for another month or two with another knee injury, which being such a young guy with a lot of knee issues already uh, worries you for the long term to make up a dynasty a young coach a young good coach at that they had that at monty williams he's not even 50 years of age and last but not least you have chris paul and jay crowder two vets that still have three years left three years left of playing at this level in their club so look at this jay crowder sitting out while they wait for a trade and chris paul great point guard but brittle as a clippers fan Man, he missed two or three playoff series uh, in Houston. They had the Warriors on the ropes, he and Harden, and uh, he famously missed game six and seven. We went up 3-2, so we went to Golden State. And remember, I couldn't play game six. Like, I got nauseous on the court before the jump ball. Like, I seriously got nauseous, and Dean took me back to the bathroom because I had crazy anxiety. I never get that type of anxiety when I'm playing. But it's that control thing. Like I was like, how am I gonna be sitting out here and I can't affect this game? We lost that one. Dark, I was in a dark place for a little while. <laughs> a few weeks I was, I was in a dark place. I, I haven't really thought about that. Like the actual game six and game seven how difficult that must have been on you. Um, last year in the playoffs. Oof. Get Luca involved in all these pick and rolls and that last possession and really the previous one as well when he had the kick ball on Suns. And they give it away again. Bullock thought about it. Fires. Butter. And right now being very porous and getting shredded, frankly, against the Mavs. And offensively, that's a snapshot of their type of night. I mean, they fell apart against Dallas. And listen, at 38, he's in better shape than I've been in in probably two decades. Of course, so powerful, so strong. Powerful frame with layer upon layer of dormant, relaxed muscle, waiting like a panther to pounce on its quivering prey. But he's 38 in the NBA, man. Like, is he going to be able to make it through the playoffs? All around the NBA to come here and play with these young up and coming superstars. This is why I say the Phoenix Suns are on the verge of being a dynasty. Carry the hell on.
Now he says it with lots of energy and confidence. What's so, 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 Regular season doesn't matter. We've seen that time and again, and nobody's going to care if the Phoenix Suns win 60-plus games again because are you going to pick them over the Warriors, even though they're struggling? Nope. Even if they're an eight seed and Phoenix is the one seed, you going to feel comfy? Mm -mm. Well, Jan has this schoolgirl fantasy. It's a pretty common one. I just... I feel uncomfortable wearing the dress. Um, Clippers, if Kawhi is healthy, which is a big if. Uh, Dallas, I mean, the West is stacked, so I'm going to take the field over the Suns any day, especially for what happened in last year's playoffs. I can't unsee a blowout Game 7 loss at home. This is just embarrassing, man. I mean, I don't mind you losing, but... You can't be down that many points at halftime. So, uh, if you've been waiting on that Phoenix dynasty, you're going to be waiting a long time.